Hey guys, Red Warrior here. I want to talk to you about something that some of the players are doing. That's something that uh, we, just in case you'd missed some of my clips, this is a very important thing to learn. Note what I'm doing here is, uh, as you notice, there's a two pop, but my rod's not even lifting. This is a very beneficial thing for you to learn, something you need to kind of practice on. Uh, basically, you want to cast out and reel, and then pop a couple times really quickly, or, you know, pop, pop, and then pop, pop again. Uh, lifting your rod up. Basically what this is doing is sticking the animation. Uh, in other words, if you're wanting to reel instead of just, uh, you know, pop it, you can just cast out and reel. Now watch kind of here as I throw a couple clips up and you'll kind of see what I'm doing here. And again, I'll explain this here in a second. Now this might take you a little practice, but watch closely. I cast out, start reeling, and then pop. And it'll stick the animation, see, and then I'm not even popping, I'm just reeling. So in other words, you want to get that on the auto pop. So it's just popping, it's stuck. Now this works on walkers, frogs, mice, and I'll show you an upcoming clip here at the uh, syringe using a mouse. But uh, this is a very effective thing I think that you guys should try to try out for yourself. Whether you're wanting to farm, a lot of the guys in the, uh, the comps are actually using this. Uh, whether they're in the Midnight Gars or the Moonlight Gars, uh, this actually works on Gars and stuff as well. So, again, I've been throwing a lot of stuff out here trying to help you guys out. So, again, on this upcoming clip, I'll show you the same thing on uh, Taman using a mouse. Also, guys, key note on this, unlike my other video where you want to hesitate, just keep rolling if it hits. Now, if something like here you'll notice, I'll miss something here in a second. If that happens to you or a fish misses, simply pop it again a couple times and keep rolling. Also, guys, here, I'm using a, a Loki 26-pound setup, so it's a 26-pound reel, 26-pound line braided with fluoro over the top of it, and a 26-pound reel. So it's a great setup for this topwater. It's something I encourage you guys to try out for yourself. Uh, again, it's great for topwater. I can actually pull musky in this, but kind of, you know, it's one of those, if you want to have a good fight, this is a great rod and reel to use. <laughs> 